The drought of 1404 had devastated great parts of my kingdom. Life was hanging by a thread. My people were hungry and desperate. They needed food and land to survive. And I needed help. Father, you have sent for us. Yes, my son. I seek your advice. My people are starving and weak. Their fields produce no fruit or crops. We must help them, or great tragedy will befall our kingdom. You say they have no strength to farm our lands, yet they swing their scythes at us. I say we make them march, conquer the lands to our north. Let them fight, if they want to fight. Father, it is not another war we need. We have plenty of lands to the south. There are countless islands in our kingdom with fertile soil and fields. I say we set sail, settle and farm that which is already ours. I like the sound of that. We shall take to the sea and settle our islands. Now be gone. Great work lies ahead of us. There is no time to waste. Devonport, what are you doing here? Master William, sir, your father thought it a good idea that I aid you on your travels. <laughs> but Devonport, you can't travel on ships. You get seasick. Indeed, sir, a concern I addressed with your father. And he still sent you? Yes, he knew an easy solution to my problem. And what would that be? To lean over the railing if need be, sir. Lovely. Well, welcome on board. May this journey be a pleasant one for us and your stomach. Thank goodness we have arrived. Master William, we are close to the island your father the King would like us to settle on. I hear your brother Edward has also arrived, and has already begun to build a settlement. Perhaps we will meet him later on in our travels. For now, Master William, may I introduce to you Pioneer Tom. Mr. Devonport, sir, we have completed the warehouse on the island. The island is ours now. Very good. Let's get a better overview of the area by taking a look around, and then try to reach the warehouse by following the displayed arrow. Well done, Master William. You have found the warehouse. Mr. Devonport, here is that book you asked for. Ah, thank you ever so much, Tom. Master William, this is our logbook. I will list all our missions and detail our progress here. You can always have a look there if you forget what to do next. Select the highlighted button to take a look at what we should do next, now. Let's open the tooltip for the warehouse. To do so, hover the cursor over the building and press the display button. We should begin by opening the tooltip. Tooltips are a great help, and I have already prepared an info screen on this topic.
Well done, Master William. As you can see on the screen, we do not have any inhabitants living in any of our settlements so far. But many of us will come to your island if you provide us with houses and goods. Taxes? Happily. Uh, we had better speak about taxes later. Master William, let us build the first inhabitant's house for our friend Pioneer Tom. We're going to need a lot of wood to build these. Unfortunately, we have very little left. So little that we can only build one house now. Quite right, Tom. But there is a simple solution to that, you'll see. For now, Master William, let's build that one house. I have marked out an area for the first inhabitant's house. Choose where you want to build it. In order to build something, you have to access the construction menu. Select the highlighted button to open it. To place buildings, move them to the position of your choice and press the displayed button. Thanks very much, Master William. My family really likes this spot you chose for our new home. You're welcome, Tom. Master William, next we need to build a road connection from the house to the warehouse. That's right. Without a road, we cannot get the food we need. Sir, in order to build a road, you need to open the construction menu. You can press the displayed button as a shortcut. Select the road icon to start building roads. Select the point where you wish to start building your road and press the displayed button. X, do you see the displayed line? Press the same button again to create the road now. Build more roads or press the displayed button to end road construction. Well done, Master William. We can now reach the warehouse to get food for my family. Thanks to you, this island has become a home to us. Still, as I mentioned before, we need wood to build more inhabitants' houses, and we use the last wood for the first building. That's why we must spend a few gold coins to build a lumberjack's hut and connect it to the warehouse. Press the displayed button to place the lumberjack's hut in a spot with enough open space around it. Well done. The lumberjack's hut is built and the position is well chosen. There is enough space for trees to grow. Now we need to connect it to the existing roads so that its goods can be collected by the market wagons. The lumberjack's hut is connected to the warehouse. Can you see the market wagon coming from the warehouse to get the wood? The wood has reached the warehouse. We could expand our settlement now. But first, we need to get a better overview of the island so we don't lose track of our buildings. You can do that by zooming in or out. Go ahead, try it. To get a better overview of the island, press the displayed button once or twice. Hover your cursor over the location you want to take a closer look at and press the displayed button. Now that you know how to keep an overview of what is going on, we should start expanding our small settlement. <laughs> 